let's talk about the Guajang to the Beauty movement. Okay, so this is right before you do your beauty in the beauty form. Right, what you use this for is is to be a um, a block. It's useful to have your hand anywhere, anywhere here. You can put it up here. You can put it underneath. Put it here. It depends what angle you're in. If you're straight against the person, probably better to put it underneath here. Okay, or you put it here. If you're angled towards the person, it's better to put it here to block your face. Okay. So what you use this for is an elbow block. Let's say he's throwing a jab. Okay. If you're lucky, he's going to hit you right in the elbow and hurt his hand. Okay. If he slips on this side, you block it here. If he slips on the outside, it's just going to slide down or slide to the to the outside. Okay. But ideally, if you're lucky, you're going to block his his straight punch with his elbow. And it's not going to be long before he figures out that he shouldn't be jabbing me anymore because he's going to be breaking his hand against your elbow. So this is perfect technique to to enter into. Uh, I mean, go get close to your opponent. So let's see, he's throwing a jab. He throw the jab. He wants to time it, and now he's moving in. Okay. And now you see, you slide his jab up here. You have have your hands free here. You can get going for a strike. Okay. You can go down here for a uh, corner strike. Okay, so this is a really good setup to get into uh, close into your opponent because you got this to block the side of your head. You got your chin completely um, completely blocked out. Okay, and if there's an uppercut, you can always block it with this hand. So you got a lot of defense as you're moving into your opponent.